Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Hurricane Wind and Solar Precision Watt Meter and Power Analyzer. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Um, the folks over at uh, Hurricane Wind and Solar saw my uh, video for my solar panel and decided to send me along a little thank you, which is this little meter right here. And I've installed this meter on the same smaller system. Uh, basically, I'm expanding the smaller system, and eventually it's going to all flow into one big system here. But for now, I'm expanding it and making it a little better. And this is a really, really handy tool. This here will tell you what, how many amps you pulled down from the sun, how many amps you're drawing, how much wattage you're drawing, your battery voltage, your amp hours, all that. Okay? So we're going to pull out, and I'm going to explain it. I'm going to show you it better, but for now I'm going to keep it zoomed in so I can show you. You see it's rotating between things, all right? And AP, WP, amp hours, AH, and volt. So I'm going to explain those to you really quickly, okay? First off, we've got current amps, or AP. Now I'd say it's drawing about two point something. Let's see, I'll turn on the, uh, there. 2.28 and it's drawing 4.8 watts okay 0.37 amps we're going to shut that back off okay your next level is your voltage your voltage minimum they refer to this um, on here oh gosh I had it written right down sag your lowest voltage that since this thing has been plugged in the lowest the batteries have gotten and on this one I'll wait till it swings around again Come on, there we go, 12.63. It's 13.22 now, okay? Next one up, watt hours, WH, and that just went by. That's how many watt hours you're generating on your panel. There we go, 13.4. Now this has only been plugged in since yesterday, so I have to let it accumulate over time, and it's overcast as we all get out today. Then you have amp hours. This is the total charge in amp hours delivered since the startup of the screen. So where is that? Come on. There we go. 1.43 amp hours. That's since this morning. Okay. And then you have power watts and power uh, peak watts. So that's power watts 13 and your peak watts 31.3. Um, pretty much that's how it works. So it cycles through these. It shows you what amperage you're drawing at the current time shows you the amount of watts you're drawing and it shows you your battery's current voltage. Now this charge control is set to um, reset at 14.2 or 14.22 actually I find um, so then it'll go green again on the uh, charge control. So what I'm going to do is back up and show you how I installed this. Alright so this will give you a better idea of what we're working with here. Um, you want the source side to come from your charge control into your source side there. You connect the load side directly to your batteries at the bottom. So basically what this does is it sits in between your charge control and your batteries and tells you what you're drawing and what's going on and how much power you've uh, used since your last usage, how much watts you're pulling in. So that's how you'd install it if you had one of these. Now if you had one that just screwed right in, you'd just take those, connect some wires to them and screw them right into your charge control. And the other side, again, connect to some battery wires and connect them to your batteries. It's a pretty simple installation. It's helping me understand um, a whole lot more about how much sun I'm getting in with one panel as opposed to two. And uh, it definitely, if you want to see that, you know, one panel isn't going to power up your whole house, it'll definitely let you know real quick, you know, that that's what you, you, you know, you're going to need more panels, you're going to need more storage. So it's definitely a good learning tool as well as a good way to keep an eye on your battery's voltage and everything else. So I'm going to kind of pull back here a little bit more without knocking my light over and show you. There's the two batteries. You'll notice batteries on this side for the other system. There's the two batteries there. And I think this kind of evolved as a dual system for me because I had two systems back uh, in where I lived before in my previous apartment. And um, I had one in my computer room and one in the living room. So when I moved here, I kind of just dragged it all along and set it up again. But I think what we're going to eventually do is work to getting this to be one big system with the 200 watt panels and the big 50 watt panel all together and five batteries. Anyway, that's it today. Thanks for watching. 
I will put the link to Hurricane Wind and Solar uh, below so you can uh, check out their page and see what they have to offer. They got a lot of nice solar panels for a very good price. And right now is the time to be buying solar because the panels have come way down in price. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.